Hey guys, in today's video, I'm gonna share with you a real way in which you can start making money online within the next month. So let's hop on straight into today's video. So we hear these stories about people making thousands of dollars online each month with little to no work. What I'm gonna share with you is not a get rich quick scheme. It's not gonna be something which I'm gonna guarantee you is gonna make you wealthy, but what I'm gonna share with you, I believe can help you generate at least $500 per month. And you might be saying, okay, I'm listening, what is that one thing? Well, that one thing that I'm gonna talk about today is you writing a book. And you might say, me write a book? Why would anybody wanna to listen to me? Um, I don't have anything to tell. I'm not good in English. I can't do this, I can't do this. But okay, hold up for one second. Don't stop watching. I challenge you to watch this video through until the end and then to apply what I'm gonna teach you and see if it works. If it works, great. I believe you can start having extra income, which you can apply towards your goals. Uh, you, can, you can pay off debt. You can buy your wife or your husband something nice. But watch this video through, and it's going to be a step-by-step -step guide with regards to things that I've done personally that I believe that you can apply to. So you might say, okay, I'm taking you up on the challenge now. So why would somebody listen to me? And, and I believe, like I said before, we've all got a story. If you've been on the earth for any length of time, you've been through life, right? You've been through certain things. You, whether it's a bad relationship that you've come out of, whether it is you were somebody that didn't know how to manage your finances or you just never were able to complete tasks in time, but you figured out ways to accomplish and overcome these challenges that you face. Well, there are people today who find themselves in a position that you might have been a year ago, five years ago, looking and searching for answers to get to the place where you are today. And you've got the answer. And the cool part is they are willing to pay you for that answer. So why not put it down in a book? You can serve people by helping them through your experiences. And then not only that, you can get paid for it too. So you might say, okay, I'm listening. How do I come up with topics? So I want you to, after this video, just pause, think about things that you're good at, think about maybe struggles that you might have had in the past and what you've done to overcome it, right? So you found yourself at a particular place once upon a time where you were in point, uh, let's draw this real quick. So you were, you found yourself over here at one point in time and now you find yourself over here. So there was a journey that you, you went along. Over here, let's say you weren't good with your money, you were in debt, but over here you are debt free. Over here, you couldn't manage your time. The time management was not good, but over here, let's say you, you couldn't manage time, but yeah, you can manage your time. So what did you do to get from A to B? There were certain things that, that, that you started doing in your life and I want you to actually go and enlist it. So, well, the first thing, let's say it was debt, right? So I identified that I had debt. The second thing is I identified how much I had. The third thing I could have done was I came up with a budget. The fourth thing that I did was I contacted my creditors to find out what they would take in terms of settlement. The fifth thing I did was I came up with a plan with regards to how I paid off my debt. So whether I was gonna use a snowball, we've got a video on that, or the avalanche. And you know what? These could all be chapters in a book. I could write a book on how to get out of debt. So how do I identify how much debt I've got? How much debt I've got? So what am I gonna look at? My, my different statements, my um, balances online and, and things like that. Um, then compiling a budget, how I compiled my budget, how I freed up extra cash within my budget to be able to pay off debt. And then a script on what you need to do to call your creditors to have them reduce your your amount that you owe them. And then the fifth one is coming up with a plan and teaching people how to actually apply one of these plans. So that, that's a book right there for somebody if you wanna write a book on that, okay? So that's just an example of what it is that you can do. 
So before you just stop and say, okay, I'm good. I'm going to write my book. I'm going to make my 500 per month. Um, I want you to, to pause and just and consider this point real quick. What are people's pain points? What is it that they desire? And this might be different to what you think they need. So you might think, okay, people need to get out of debt, right? And they do for the most. Um, but is that a really a desire of people? And you, you need to conduct some research. So there's a few ways in which you can do that. Number one, you could use social media like uh, Facebook and Instagram, and you could post questions and you can ask them. And I'll show you guys how to do that, how to ask a question. And if people respond, and that might mean there's a need. You could use surveys. You could use... Survey Monkey. you could use Google Forms and post it on your social media too and ask people questions and in turn reward them for filling out your questionnaire. As I'm going to show you how easy it is to create a question on Instagram real quickly, which in turn will be posted onto your Facebook account. So you're going to open up the Instagram app, you're going to click on the plus sign, you'll click on story, you'll click on that little camera icon, you are going to click on create. Scroll until you see a question mark. And this is where you can ask the questions. So what should I call my latest book? Click next. And then you can click on the little arrow at the bottom. And you can click share and it will share to your Instagram and if you've got a Facebook account linked it will share to your Facebook account and when people answer you'll get the responses and you can then use that as a form of doing research. So as I indicated you could use websites like Facebook and Instagram and you can hop in and ask questions but if you want to conduct a bit of a wider sort of research and by wider I mean not just asking your friends on your social media platforms you can come to Websites like Quora, Reddit, and then there's another one that I use, which is Phrase. Quora and Reddit are both free. And what I've done over here is I've just typed in a question. You can see I typed in how to get out of debt. And you can see other people are searching for that too. How do I get out of debt? What is the quickest method to get out of debt? What is the best advice? And you can just literally scroll down here and see what other people are actually asking in terms of questions. If you want to click on this, you can click on all times. You can filter it over here. So... Let's see if there were any questions within the past year as an example on this topic. So this person asks, how do you manage to get out of medical debt? How do you get out of debt when you are drowning? So these are all questions that people are, are asking and you can actually go and let's say I clicked on this one over here. As an example, you can see that, okay, there's six people that have upvoted that. So peop six people have commented on that. Yeah, 51 people. And you can also go and look and see if there are any comments on these things. And it's a good place also to find out what other people are asking, what people are saying about this. So this is on Quora. The next one is Reddit. Again, I typed in how to get out of debt. So need advice how to get out of debt. Just, but you've got to like just filter through these just to see what people are posting. Um, and yes, 76 comments on it. So on this particular one so that's one that people seem to like and just scrolling through this and this will give you ideas with regards to how you can actually get an insight with regards to what people are searching the type of questions people are asking because this will give you clarity and confirm that there is a need for the topic that you want to write your book on hi guys throughout this video i am going to share some softwares which i use um, i will share links to the different softwares that I use and uh, I believe that it will help you. That's why I'm sharing these softwares. Uh, I am an affiliate of the various softwares that I'm going to be discussing or most of them, not all of them. Some I'm not an affiliate. I just feel it's a great software, but because I want to be transparent with you guys, if you do buy or sign up or subscribe to these particular softwares, I might get a little commission in turn. Um, it's not going to cost you extra. You're not going to be paying more because of uh, signing up through my link. If you choose to sign up through somebody else's link, we're just going straight to the website that works for me too. But the objective of this video is to help you make $500 per month from here on out. And then the final one is Phrase. So this is a paid subscription that I've got. This is a powerful tool and I'll show you why now. So I hopped into Phrase. I typed in my how to get out of debt and it's showing me that there are 14,800 searches per month on that but here's the cool part 
I could click on what are the seven steps to get out of debt as an example. Um, easiest ways to get out of debt, how to get out of debt with no money. And then if I click on create a document real quick, and I just come and change my folder real quick, and I click create a document. And over here, it pulls up the top 20 Google results for the search query. So I'm gonna click on that. Okay, so Phrase just ran the query and the cool part is you'll see over here, it's actually identified the top 20 articles. Six ways to get out of debt, 27 ways to get out of debt, how to get out of debt, eight ways to get out of debt in 2021, and, and so on, and this, the top 20 articles. And what I like about Phrase is it gives me the articles in, a, in one place for one, but it also shows you what other people are writing on. So articles that people are writing on. And what I then do is I go and I might look at five things across, which is common uh, things that these different article writers have written about. And I use that as a basis for me to then write my article or in this case, my books. So I'm not gonna use what they are writing, but it's giving me ideas with regards to what others who have done the research have come up with as the main things that people actually need. So if they're all talking about coming up with listing what you owe, that's gonna be in my book. But I'm gonna share my own experience of what I did when I listed what I owed. Where did I get the information from? How did I structure my list? What am I considering to be included in my list? And so definitely consider using a tool like this, but if you don't have the resources now to use a tool like Phrase, use Reddit and use Quora because they are free. But if you do have the resources, Phrase will shorten your research by a long shot. And again, you don't use the content of the other people that they've written, but you use it as ideas and it gives you insight with regards to what other people think is truly important. Okay, so the next thing to consider is whether you should publish or self-publish. Okay, so you've done your research now and you feel like, okay, you've got an idea of a topic with regards to what it is that you wanna write, but there's a few things that we need to consider before we start writing the book. And I'm gonna discuss that now. The first thing you need to discuss or consider is whether or not you want to publish it with a publishing house or whether you, or not you wanna self-publish. And I would say, again, day and age in which we live, you can go for either option. Just remember if you're gonna get a publishing house, it's going to mean that you're gonna get a professional editor, you're gonna to have to find a publishing house, they're gonna want a portion of your sales, and you might be okay with that. But generally those take a lot longer, whereas if you self-publish, you can actually write the book in a weekend and you can get the book out and into people's hands. So for me personally, I've done both. I've published a book with Oxford University Press and that was a couple of months to actually write that book and to get it published and through edits. And then the other books which I've written also have been self-published. Some I, I spent a week or two writing. There's one in fact that I wrote within a weekend and I self-published it and I was able to get it into the hands of, of people and I believe that it's helped them. So you can choose which one you want. I personally am a fan of self-publishing. I think it's easier, I think it's a lot quicker and it also means that you can get the books out and in turn start generating cash a lot quicker. The next thing to consider is also the length of the book. And remember the objective of this book that I'm talking about is not you writing a 500 page novel, but it's a book that you are going to be able to write really quickly because you want to get it into the hands of people and it's gonna solve a particular pain point. So it's, you're not mm -hmm. aiming to solve 10 or 20 pain points. You are, have identified the one pain point, the one thing that that you believe through your research people are needing help with that you can help them with. And you might have several things through your research that you can help them with, but why not then write a few books? And I'm just gonna illustrate something real quickly. Let's say you've got a person over here who's got a particular issue, right? So a pain point. And they wanna get to the place of victory. So they need to get to that place. You've got the answer. And here's your book over here, right? Here's a book. Let's say this is your book. And then here's another book over here. Let's, for the sake of the example, let's say this is my book. And let's say your book is 50 pages. Mine is 500 pages, right? And they both ultimately get the person to the place of victory. Whose book do you think they're gonna wanna read? 
if we can both assure them that if they follow the steps, they'll get to the place of victory, they're going to want to read your book. Why? Because people have a limited amount of time. People are have so much going on in their lives that more often than not, they can't sit down and read a 500-page novel in order, even if it's going to give them the answers that they need. People live, we live in a microwave society where people want to get information quickly and it should be actionable information. And once they apply that, they want to be able to get to their place of victory. And we're not promising them that they're going to get it overnight. But the reality of it is people are more inclined to want to read a book of that length. Or myself personally, I'm going to read a book that's 50 pages any day of a book that's 500 pages. So consider that. Yes, you might have the answer. But see if you can condense it into a format to where it's not requiring the person to invest hours of time or weeks on end in order to get to the place of victory or to get to the place where their pain point is resolved or the place where they know what they need to do in order to accomplish their particular goal. Okay, the next thing that we need to consider is the type of book. Are you going to write an ebook? Are you going to sell a physical book? Are you going to sell an audio book? And the easiest one by a long shot is the ebook because you could literally pull up Word on your computer or Google Docs and you can write the book. You can make it look nice and you can start selling it almost pretty much immediately. The audio book, a little bit more difficult because you are going to have to write the book and then you're going to have to read it and then or find somebody who's got a good voice that somebody would want to listen to. And so that might take a bit of time if you feel that your voice isn't the type of voice that people want to listen to. And uh, you'll need to get the voiceover artist and you'd have to spend more money on that. In the physical book, you're going to either have to buy the books yourself and then ship it to people, or you can make use of a vendor that would actually supply the books, the physical books, on your behalf. But generally, there's a higher cost involved with that. When it comes to the, when it comes to the physical book, you could use Amazon to fulfill your book, but they take a decent percentage of your books. You could use websites like Lulu, which is also print-on-demand. So if people place an order... Uh, Lulu will fulfill it for you, but they take, I think it's like $5, and we'll check what it is. Um, I'll share a link to the website, Binleaf, so you can actually go and see what it is that they actually charge to fulfill the book. But they take a portion of, of the sales of the book too. So the one in which you can make the most money quickly is generally ebooks because you have control over that, especially if you're going to sell it on your platform or on a platform that doesn't take a lot of commission. Physical books, again, you're going to either have to buy all the books and then you're going to have to ship it to people or you're going to have to make use of a third-party vendor who will print it for you, but there's going to be costs associated with the actual printing of the books and then the shipping of the books. And then the final thing is also audiobooks. Do you have the voice? Do you need to get a voiceover artist to actually record the book for you? Where are you going to sell it? Are you going to sell it on an Audible? Are you going to sell it on your own site? So there's a lot of things to consider over there. So do your research with regards to what you feel is the best way in which you can actually sell your book. Okay, so I'm going to share with you three ways in which you can sell your books real quick. The first way is actually selling your book on Amazon because lots of people buy things on Amazon. And if I come and I type in debt-free books, you'll see these are books which fall into that category. Something to point out real quickly is, let's show you this one over here. You've got the Audible version, you've got a paperback. I'm sure they've got the Kindle, which is the ebook format. So you could sell it on Amazon. Uh, but if we come over to this particular page over here, you can click on the pricing and they'll tell you how much it's co going to cost you to sell your book. So there's different percentages that they charge depending on the size of the book, on the fulfillment. So you can come and actually look at the different plans that they've got available to see if it makes sense for you in terms of are you prepared and willing to give up a particular percentage of your book in order to sell it on Amazon. The next place that you could sell your book is going to be on your website. So this is my website over here. And I've got my product page over here, which took me all but five minutes to build this page. And I've got a book over here called The 60 Minute Financial Plan. And I've got a the book in the USA version. I've got a book on biblical meditation too, USA and South African version. And uh, what I did was... I, if you click on these buttons over here, it's actually going to take you to my sales page and people can then buy directly on my website. 
And how the book gets delivered is because these are ebooks over here, it gets delivered to the person once they pay for it, they get an email with a link to the book. And uh, that way they can then. Okay, so the next way you can sell your book is on a platform like Gumroad. And you can see this is a cart which will, you can then load your book into their marketplace. And then based on, on that, they will then deliver the books for you. If it's an ebook format, you can actually sell physical books in here, but you're going to need a connector like Zapier or Pabli, which when somebody buys in here, it sends a notification to the fulfillment agency to actually fulfill the book for you. And I'll, I'll put a link to, to those at the bottom of this video. The one thing though with, with Gumroad though, if you're selling eBooks, great, because you can deliver it. In, initially, you're gonna have a cost of 9% on the f if up until $1,000 worth of lifetime sales, and it becomes lower as we move along, and then there's 30 cents on each transaction. So just bear that in mind. So if you're starting out, there might be a 9% fee, but it's okay if you are starting out, right? Just bear in mind that this might be one way in which you could do that. Um, if you want to sell your books, your physical books, and you don't want to use Amazon, you could collect sales over here and then use a platform like Lulu, which I've mentioned before. And we can come up here. So what Lulu does is you can actually go and sell your books and then they will fulfill it for you so you don't have to keep stock in hand at your house like buying 100 books and then having to ship it off to people they'll do it for you but their pricing over here you can indicate the type of books that you want to sell so let's say you want to print a book so click on that you'll have to select like the book size so let's say it's a a4 as an example page count, let's say it's a 50 page book. You can choose the different colors. It's, it's color over there, white pages, hardcover. You just do your research. I'm just going through this real quickly. Let's go with the matte option. And it's gonna be 1755 per book. So this is over and above that over there. But again, you play around with the dimensions with regards to the type of book, do you, does it need to be an A4? Could it be smaller? And things like that. And just bear in mind that they will fulfill it for you, collect payment, and then they will ship it on your behalf. So you don't have to buy a hundred of your own books and then ship it off to people. Another cool software that you could use instead of maybe Gumroad to sell your books is Thrivecart. I'm a big advocate or fan of Thrivecart just because they are good at what they do. It's a once off fee, so there's a lifetime fee. So it is $495, and if you want the pro upgrade, which I suggest if you are able to go for that, $690, but the, the pro of, of Thrivecart is, of getting Thrivecart maybe over using maybe another cart software is, they are good at what they do. And with the pro upgrade, you also find yourself in a position where you can have affiliates selling your products for you. And the cool part about the affiliates are is, you're gonna get people to go out and market the book for you or the product for you. It doesn't just have to be a book, it could be a course, it could be anything like that. And then they will in turn get their percentage, the affiliate will get the percentage. So let's say I ask you to sell my book and I'm gonna give you 20% or 30% of my book. So by you telling your friends, or your family about my book, you'll make 30% just by telling them, Thrivecart can handle that for you. So you can make your money up on Thrivecart within a couple of weeks if you have the right people promoting your book. So they get paid, you get paid, and in turn, we all grow together. And I'll include a link below to this video to Thrivecart. They also came out with a cool feature called Thrivecart Learn. So if you want to start selling courses, you can do it within Thrivecart where not only can you sell products, but you can actually have and host your own courses, online courses. Okay, so next up, let's say you've got your idea and you want to actually write your book, right? So you've come up with the concept, the pain point that people are confronted with. You've identified the platform and the manner in which you want to sell your book and the type of book that you are going to be selling. How do you write this book real quickly? So I've got a few tips or, 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 or things that I want you to consider real quick. So the first is Otter AI. So you go to Otter AI's website, and what Otter AI does is it allows you to take a video that you've got 
or an audio file, and then you can upload it to the software and it will transcribe it. So this is Otto AI. You can try it for free. Click on their pricing real quick. And I'll leave links to these softwares below. So we've got basic plan, which allows you to record and transcribe it. Of course, there's gonna be limitations on the free plan, but if you wanna pay for the pro or one of the other plans, you can do that too. Next up, we've got wave.video. So what I did was over here, just I'll illustrate this in Wave and the next software is I uploaded a video and if I go to edit the video, it's gonna bring me to this particular page over here. But the cool part of Wave is if I click on captions, which I did before this video, was it actually goes and it creates the captions for this particular video. I can then go in and edit my captions, but this is where the magic happens. I can click on settings and I can download it as a text to one of these other formats. Download it as a text and then you can go in and you can edit and format it in Microsoft Word or in Google Docs, okay? Picto chart, similar concept. I uploaded my video and I'll go back real quick to my videos. Click on edit, comes up over here, and just something that I should have pointed out when I spoke about WAVE, was that we have to remember that with all these transcription tools, it is AI generated transcription, so there's going to be a possibility that it might not always understand your accent, or it might transcribe the wrong words, so it's important to go back and then to read what the AI has transcribed. Once you've done that, you can see the transcription over here. I can click on export and I can export the text over here, which again, I can go and copy it into Google Docs or into Microsoft Word or what other, whatever other note uh, software you use. And then you can edit it and format it for your ebook. E the uh, last software that I wanna mention before we get to Google Docs is going to be Pictree. Same concept as Wave Video and Picto Chart. You go and you would, uh, let me log in real quick. And I'm going to click log in. Same concept, I would come and I would click on that, upload my video and then it's going to transcribe. And again, I can export the text and import it into my Google Doc or alternatively into Microsoft Word. Okay, next up we've got Google Docs, which we all have access to and it's for free and this is the cool part. So let's say I wanted to write something like my name is Lyle. And trust me, I type a little bit faster than that. I'm typing with one hand at the moment. But that's gonna take a long time, even if I typed with two hands, right? It's gonna take a bit of time. But the cool part about uh, Google Docs is, if you click on tools, you can actually voice type. So let's try it out. Hi guys, I hope that you guys are doing well. I hope that you guys are enjoying this video today, teaching you how you can create extra income by writing a book, or in this case, by talking, and it will transcribe your words to a book. Just something to mention over here, whether you are using wave.video, pictochart, pictree, or any of the other softwares that makes use of AI or these voice recording sort of mechanisms to capture what you are saying is, you need to make sure that you go back and you edit, right? Just it's important because sometimes they, the softwares might not understand what you're saying or they might transcribe something incorrectly. So it's important if you're gonna be serving people and in turn selling a product to them that you actually go and you edit before you click publish and before you sell it. Okay, I'm gonna click stop on this real quick and we'll continue. So as you can see over here, guys, you'll see there's some grammatical things over here which didn't quite work out, so you'll have to go and clean that up. But let's, let me just show you something. Let's say I did that and let's say that was a sentence over there and that was a sentence over there and I wanted to go and let's go and Make that bold, make that a title. 
you can see that I'm nearly halfway through on this page. So imagine how quickly it would take to write a 50 page book by speaking, but it's important to go back and format it. I like these other softwares too, Wave and uh, PictoChart and Pic Pictory for the reason that I can take my videos. So I don't have to sit and speak this way, but if I've actually done a webinar or I've recorded something in YouTube and I'm like, oh man, it's just, I, I had an hour long video as an example, and this could actually be used as a book that I can give away to people for free. Alternatively, there was some really good things that came out to this particular session. If I interviewed somebody, I could actually take that, I could upload it to those softwares, it could transcribe it, and then in turn, I can then provide that book or the, the transcription uh, rather into my Google Docs or into Microsoft Word. I can edit it and I've got my book to sell. But not only that, with these softwares, and I encourage you to go and have a look at the websites and I might do a review on those at another point in time. I can actually take the videos that I upload and create smaller videos. If you've, if you've followed me on my social media platforms, you'll see my shorter teaser videos. I'm using those softwares. I'm taking my longer videos, uploading it to the software, and it's able to create teaser sort of videos, like a 30 second intro to a video that I've got on YouTube coming out that week or to one of my products that I sell. So go ahead and look at those softwares. I'll leave a link below to, to each and every one of the softwares that I've mentioned. And if you like it, test it out. If you want to sign up and start using it, great. But if you feel that you're just starting out and you wanna use Google Docs, then this is a great way in which you can do this too. Okay, so once you've written or spoken out your book, what you could do next is you could either save your book as a PDF and sell it on Gumroad or th with Thrivecart and deliver it via link or Gumroad takes care of that for you too. Um, but if you can sell it on Amazon, just make sure that you're using the right format in terms of how they want it to be uh, formatted in order for you to sell on their platform. But this is the software that I use for some of my eBooks. It's called Scribble. And if you click on templates real quick, show you how easy it is to use the software. There were lots of different templates that you can use. Let's say I wanted to use this one over here or this one over here. I could use these ones. I click on the word use. I'm going to call this let's say book as an example. So you click on create. It's going to create your book. It takes a few seconds. So it's preparing my ebook. Okay, it's going to pop up. So I've got this is what's in the book at the moment. I can click on add content. If I've got a Word document, I can upload the Word document. If I've got text, I can go and paste text. If I've got a URL, like I've written my own blog, I can do that. But I just copied some information online just for the purpose of this illustration. I would obviously come up with my own text that I would use. I'm not, I wouldn't use somebody else's text, but let's say I did that. This is again, just purely for illustration purposes to show you how quick this works. So I would need to change my title over there to match whatever I'm writing on. My name, there's a few places I can come and edit. Okay, but let's just scroll down. I wanna show you guys something over here. Yeah. My book was on a recession. Look how nicely formatted that was. I just pasted it nicely. I can come and just swap out the images over there. But these parts over here, I can come and I can just edit this and type whatever else I wanted to in it. But it gives you nice templates and it makes your books look really professional. Okay. Not always a fan of the cover pages, but you can go and design your own cover page and then upload it. And once you're done, you can click generate your book, you can publish it, you can save it and share it that way. So next up, you need to be able to design your cover, right? So you could use Scribble if you wanted to use Scribble. If you did not want to use a software like Scribble, you're going to need to have a cover in order for your book to look appealing to people because that's the first thing they're going to see before they buy it. So um, you can use a software like Canva. There's lots of other softwares out there, but I like Canva. They've got a free version and a paid version. So you can see I've designed some stuff over there. You can create presentations, social media posts, video, 
you can literally come and type an ebook over here. It gives you the dimensions. You can create your own custom size. Click on that and you can identify what size you want it to be. And I'll show you where that, f that fits in shortly. But I've designed two ebook covers real quick. This is one of my books that I, I have. And um, as you can see over here, it's very simple. It's just a black background, uh, a little block that I've attached over on top over there and my name and then the image, something with images. On the pro version, you can actually remove the background. So in my normal photo over here, I've actually got a background of a particular location, but you can remove that and spend some time in this playing around in Canva. There's lots of tutorials on YouTube, so I'm not going to spend a lot of time in that, but I just want to show you that you can create covers like this pretty much for free on the free version of Canva. This is another one that I use. This is a template. All I changed on this one was I put these words in over here and I dropped that image in over there and that image over there and my name over there. It took me 10 minutes and I created this cover for one of my books and I was able to get that into the hands of people. Once you are happy with the book, so let's say this book over here, that's the dimensions, just bear that in mind real quickly. You can change the name and then you click share, download, download, and it's going to download the book. You'll see these little crowns over here. This means it's available on the pro version. So if you've got the pro version, you can download the transparent background, compress the file. There's a bunch of things that you can do, but you click download and it's going to create the particular image of the uh, thing that you created in Canva, in this case, it's the book cover, ebook cover. So this is what the cover looks like. So when I am getting ready to upload my cover to a particular, to my website or to come to Gumroad, I'm going to combine this particular cover with the ebook itself, whether I saved it as a PDF or use a software like Scribble. So I combine the two. So this is going to be the front quote unquote page of the book. But the next part that I'm going to show you is really cool, like especially if you're going to be selling it on your website or you just needed a cool looking image uh, promoting the book that you have just written. So let me show you a nice little website that you can use. OK, so now that you've got a new book and you've saved it um, and you want to advertise it on your website, as an example, uh, let me show you something real quick. So. So I come to my website real quick and I go to products. See how that book looks over there? That looks pretty nicely designed. And I did that and I used this website, Smock Mockup. So you click on books. If you've got the pro version, you can look at all. But if you just have the free version, you click on free and it shows you the ones that's available for free. Remember in Canva, I showed you the dimensions that was important because if I come and I choose this one over here those dimensions differ to what we created in Canva but again you can adjust your dimensions in Canva but let's say I click on upload see 1500 by 1875 this is 1500 by 2140 but let me show you something real quick upload you can see it doesn't look all that great because it's slightly off right but on the other hand if I use this one over here which is the same the right dimensions that looks a lot better okay and this is on the free version all that you can do now is click download and it's good to go and you can then use it on your website or on some other platforms to promote the book that you have written Again, that is smartmockups.com, and they've got a free version and a paid version. And with all these sites that I've shown you guys, I will leave a link below. Hey, guys, so as we get to the close or we start wrapping up this video, um, I just wanted to show you how easy it is to create a product or your book in Gumroad. And again, I like Gumroad and I like Thrivecart, um, sharing you how to create a product in Gumroad real quickly, just purely from the perspective of that there's no upfront cost. You do pay the 9% on the sale of the book. If you are able to get Thrivecart, it's a great platform. That's probably my go-to 
caught in terms of collecting payments for things. Um, you then deliver the book via a link. Um, but if you wanted to use Gumroad, because you didn't have the ability, you don't have the ability to buy Thrivecard at the moment. Gumroad is good. Yes, is that nine percent initially that you're going to pay, but so the cost of doing business, right? So let's call this book real quick test. Um, test book three, two, one, one, two, three, whatever. There's different things you can sell over there, but let's say we go with that. Click on ebook, and you can actually choose your different currencies over here that you want to sell. The South African rands, US dollars, a whole bunch of currencies, but I'm going to do dollars just for the sake of this. I'm going to sell the book for five dollars, and I'm going to click next. You can give it a little bit of description about this is a tester. That's the link where they can buy it. I can upload an image. Let's see, computer files. I just do that one over there. So that's going to upload. It's got my book over there. I can upload any thumbnails that I want the one to appear on Gumroad. I'm not going to do that for now. My call to action is like what people like can either say pay, like my buy button pay, but I'm going to leave it as buy, you get this cool book and um, any other details that I want them to know about. That's my pricing. You can even allow people to pay what they want with a minimum price. You can add different variations like something called a bump offer if you want to combine it with other products that you have. You can limit the amount of sales. You can allow customers to choose the quantity. Let's click Save Changes. Let's go to my content. This is where I could actually go and upload my book. I'm not going to upload anything at the moment, but the PDF format. This is going to be my checkout over here. I could actually add a a discount. So create. I can create a code over there. I can say how much percent I want to give them off, whether it's either dollars or percentage. So 5% off or 100% off if you want to give it away for for free. Um, because it's an ebook, there's no shipping required. This is any additional text that you want to appear or terms at the bottom of here, linking to your terms and conditions. Yeah, this you can have a URL or the uh, URL to your website. If you've got a website where there are terms and conditions, if you don't have a website, you could just write something over here, like refunds will be accepted within if you return the book within five days or something like that. And um, you can pretty much add a few more things over here. And once that is good, I'm just going to save my changes. I, I didn't create a coupon or discount over here, um, but I can click publish. So this thing is live, right? So if I go and copy that and I come and paste that over here, I click enter this is what people will see so people will be able to choose how many of my books they want it updates the price over there the wording that i just mentioned and i can click buy this oh this i sit on they can choose their price so let's say 25 dollars as an example buy this brings them over here they check out they will then get the book delivered to them and um, if they want to receive, they can click on that. It can be emailed to them that way. So pretty easy. So you could use Gumroad if you wanted to. Just remember the 9% whereas Thrivecart, once you've made the payment, the, you pretty much just paying your payment gate gateway, your Stripe or your PayPal fees, which is 2%, uh, sometimes 3%. Um, but if you want to use Gumroad, by all means, go ahead and do that. And um, I'm actually going to leave at the bottom of this video, just um, links to my books, which are on Gumroad at the moment. And uh, you can sign up as affiliates and you can then sell the book if you would like to and make a commission off those sales. So yeah, 
I hope that this helped you guys. This is pretty much the process I follow to sell my books. For those of you that stuck around until the end of the video, I'm going to share a few ways and things that I would do in order to market my book if it was me writing a new book. Okay, so the first thing that I would do is look at the name of my book. And you might be saying, yeah, but it's my book. I'm going to call it what I want to. Problem with that is if people aren't searching for your book or searching for the title of your book, they're probably not going to find it. And you could have so much wisdom packed into that book, but if you've got the wrong title, nobody's going to be searching for that book or very little people. I was helping a friend of mine recently come up with a book title for, for one of his books that he was writing. And while it was a great book, or it is a great book, and I believe that it's, it's going to impact many lives, the original title that we had thought about after I'd done some research, we identified that according to Google and a few search uh, engine softwares, that under 10 people were searching for that book per month. And yes, while we could say, but this is the name of our book, if nobody's going to find it, even though it's packed with gold and nuggets, it's not going to help anybody. So we had to go back to the drawing board. We needed to relook at the name of the book and package it or name the book in such a way that people would actually find it. So what tools could you use to identify what name you should use in the book? Number one, which I, I looked at was Amazon. And you could go to Audible as well. Because at the end of the day, a lot of people are searching online for books on Amazon. So what I did was I went to Amazon, I typed in our keyword, I typed in the name of the book that we wanted to write, and we also identified that nobody was searching for those terms. What we then did was we, we started looking at a theme for the book. And as a result of that, we saw that people were searching for this type of knowledge or the, or the wisdom found in this book, but the words which they were using in order to find the book were slightly different. So we pivoted and we named the book according to what people were actually looking for. And we'll, we'll hop into, into Amazon in the next few minutes where I could just show you real quickly how that works. Okay, so now we are in Amazon. And if you come into Amazon, you can go over to books. You look for your genre over here. There's new releases, bestsellers, and, and things like that. And then if you come to, you click on books again, you click on advanced search, you can type the format, let's say Kindle, or you could just leave, just leave it all for now. All conditions, subjects, which would be the genre. So if, let's say you are writing a book on business and investing, let's click a search item, let's call this a book on crypto, real quick. Click search. So these are books on cryptocurrency. But can you see the common theme? The truth about crypto. Understanding crypto. Crypto trading. It's all got the name within it. But if I were to call the book, let's say, the new currency going forward, nobody's searching for the new currency going forward. Right, So I needed to pause and I needed to come and identify what other people are naming their books and use the key term of the type of book it, that it is that I'm selling. So let me show you something real quick. So I said, let's say I type over here, the new currency. Okay, this one over there, the new currency of the future, new currency. So there are a few of those, but it's not really anything to do with what my book is about because my book is about cryptocurrency. And I might pick up a totally different uh, group of people that's wanting to buy the book as opposed to the real people that I'm really wanting to serve. So I say all that, just pause, come to Amazon, type in a few keywords for your book, and identify whether other people are using it, if it's the right people that you are targeting. And if not, do a bit more search. See what people in the niche that you are serving are actually searching for. And so that you could use Amazon for that. 
Another thing that you could use is Google Keyword Planner. Planner or SEO software, if you've got access to that. And I'm, I'm going to share a few paid versions and some free softwares that you can use as well. So if we hop on over to Google Keyword Planner real quickly. So if we come to Keyword Planner, you can actually put in a keyword. So you're going to need to have a Keyword Planner account. And um, these don't cost you anything, but you'd have to use your Google account and create a Keyword Planner account. Okay, so you don't have to pay for this. So let's type in crypto real quick. You can click enter. You can give more uh, names over here. So whether it's Bitcoin, Ethereum, that's um, just an example of the type of book that I'm quote unquote writing for the purpose of this example. Or it could be get out of debt or whatever it is. So I'm going to click on get results. As you can see, recently there's been up to 100,000 to 1 million searches for this per month. So this is still, even though the markets are down, a pretty hot topic, right? So writing a book around this, you could, with the right SEO and the right strategies, actually attract people to buy your book. Okay, so this is Google Keyword Planner. You could even drill down a bit further. You could see the different types of cryptocurrencies that people are searching for. This one looks pretty hot at the moment, BlockFi. So you could write a book around that because it's up by 900% over the last three months. And um, SafeMoon is down 90% year on year, but still getting a decent amount of searches or average searches uh, per month. But just bear in mind that the more hot these topics are, um, more people are probably writing and creating content on this. So just bear that in mind. Okay, if we want to look at a few other softwares, there's uh, a, f a few free tools. I'll share a few real quickly. There's one called Uber Suggest. And over here, you can come and put your keyword in again. So let's say my keyword was crypto. Click enter in a search okay let's click on that verify okay look at that I mean there's a paid version and we're on the free version at the moment but there's definitely been an increase a slight drop off over there but people are definitely searching for this that's the trend according to them 823,000 searches per month and uh, cryptocurrency, if it's spelled in one word, 450,000. So people are searching for this. So again, whatever your topic is for your book, come and do some keyword research to identify whether or not people are searching for it. And I'm gonna, I'll explain to you what you're gonna use this research for. Um, another website that you could use is a website called Answer the Public. And if you come to answer the public real quick, and again, let's type in our keyword. Again, just for the purpose of this example, I am using the word crypto. We scroll down. It actually gives you a diagram with regards to the type of questions people are asking you about this. So where crypto mining goes, um, what crypto to buy now what crypto to buy are crypto trading bots profitable so there's a whole host of things that people are actually searching so again you could use these terms in your books because people are actually searching for this so uh, to name your book and also to when you are trying to advertise or promote your book uh, when you are writing articles about your book and we're going to touch on that in the next few few minutes Okay, the next thing that you, you could look at is once you've come up with the name of your book and you've done some keyword research, you've identified the type of keyword terms that people are looking at and searching for around your topic or the book that you're going to be writing on, you could decide whether or not you're going to be using paid ads 
or organic marketing and paid ads as it indicates is where you are paying whether you are using Google you're paying them to run ads on Google so if people are searching for something your ad will pop up but you have to pay as we saw in Google Keyword Planner that says what the co average cost is to be able to run ads so you could advertise over there you could advertise so that's Google you could advertise on Facebook when I say Google I mean Yahoo and other plat other search engine platforms too we can advertise on YouTube so there's a whole host of places but these cost money right and the thing is at this point in time we are wanting to make money so we might not want to do paid ads at this point in time so you might want to focus on organic marketing and what organic marketing is as the name mentions it's organic it's not you actually paying money in order to advertise your product or in this case your book and how could you do that you could do your organic marketing primarily on social media so making use of Instagram making use of of Facebook posting Instagram and Facebook reels uh, where you are providing free good information around your topic to two people so people can see you as the expert in a particular field um, by creating a YouTube channel and sharing your knowledge and your wisdom uh, which is going to help people and in turn they'll see you as an expert in a particular area and they'll be more inclined to buy a book from you because they trust you because you've built credibility with them through the free good content that you're providing to them and then also you could start blogging and all the blog is is where you are writing articles about a particular concept so you become the expert again in this particular area and as a result of that once people start trusting you through feeding on your content that you're creating they are going to be more inclined to want to buy your products again organic marketing more often than not takes a bit longer than paid traffic in order to to actually get people to buy your product but again when it comes to to these things we are in it for the long haul so yes it might take a little bit longer but if you can start putting out regular content especially in the niche that you have chosen and the area that you have chosen to serve people in chances are over time you are going to find yourself in a position where people are going to find you online and in turn start to buy your products but initially with the goal to make with its 500 per month initially the, the the first bunch of people if you don't already have an audience and you haven't cr started creating content already it's probably going to be your close circle your friends and family that's going to be buying your books but if you want them to promote your books the best way as i've discussed early on in this in this video was to make use of affiliate marketing so whereby you have your book for sale whether it's through Thrivecart or whether it's through Gumroad or some other platform but it adds an affiliate portion to it whereby they can go out and then promote it for you and in turn you will then pay them a commission for referring people to your book so they'll be rewarded as well as you Okay, the fourth thing that we need to discuss is possibly running giveaways. So maybe on your social media platform, there are various tools you could use, tools like WooRise, tools like uh, Sumo King, whereby people who share your post or who go and like your YouTube channel, people who share your your product with other friends so you put a, a post out advertising your particular book and if they share it they get 10 points and the person with the most points at the end of the day hey maybe they could win a free copy of your book or alternatively if you're going to start providing coaching in line with your book if that's where you're going to be pivoting towards that the person that that shares it the most gets rewarded and these softwares like WooRise and uh, so on so software is similar to that they actually track the amount of times an individual has shared it and if people have responded to it and as a result of that more people are being reached 
outside of your immediate circle. And as a result of that, you can then reward people, which is going to be great. The fifth thing that you could do is get testimonials, right? When you buy a particular product, if you are like me, you're more inclined to buy something if you know that others have used it and others have indicated that it's a good product. So what I encourage you to do, if you're writing a book for the first time, maybe get 10 or 20 people and give it to them for free in exchange for testimonial. And you can say, hey guys, um, this is a book. You got, we're going to read it over the next five weeks together. And you'll read it with them. If it's a 50-page book, we'll do 10 pages a week. And as a result of that, you'll discuss it with them. And, and at the end of the five weeks or whatever it is, you, they will provide you with a testimonial of how their life has changed or how they have more clarity. And the cool part about that, you can either get a written testimonial, which you can add to your website if you've got that. Alternatively, there are softwares which you could use in order to capture the testimonials in video format. A software that I've used in the past is called Video Peel. But there's lots of other softwares out there which you could use, which captures the, the video testimonial, which you can put onto your website. And again, you, if you don't have a website, take those video testimonials, put it onto YouTube, put it onto your social media platforms, onto your Instagram Reels, put it onto your Facebook Reels where people are saying how your book has helped them. And you know what the thing is with, with people? If I see that you've... Uh, written a book and, and it's helped my friend or it's helped my uncle or my aunt, or my mom or my dad or my sisters, I'm more inclined to say, hey, wait a minute, I'm going through the same thing. I want that and I trust the people that are giving the testimonials. So don't forget about the power of the testimony, but it might mean initially giving away a few copies of your book for free in order to get those testimonials, which in turn will result in other people wanting to purchase your book. And then the final one, which I believe is also a super powerful technique, which I think a lot of people are missing out on, is YouTube. You might say, I am not a YouTuber. I don't like being in front of the camera. I didn't like being in front of the camera either. But the thing is, when it's not about you, but it's about other people, then it becomes easier. I create the content that I create because I want to serve people and I want to help people like you watching this. And we find ourselves in a position in this day and age where you don't have to be in front of the camera. You could create videos online where you just have images. You could use softwares like Pictory or Wave where uh, it creates the images for you and you just speak. And you might say, I don't have a mic, but you've got a phone, you can record into your phone and and you can use that as a mechanism to get your message out to people. We find ourselves living in a time when it's never been easier to serve people, so make use of the technology that we've, we've got today. So I hope this helped you guys, and again, I just felt I needed to share a few things, and this is not a super in-depth how to market your book, but just a few things which I want you to consider as you write your book, complete your book, and as you get your book out into the hands of people out there. Hey guys, I know this is a long video, but I just felt that I needed to share this with you guys. This is the steps that I've taken to be able to write the books that I have, and it's generated extra income for me and my family. I do believe that if you follow the steps, like conducting the research, whether it's on your social media platforms, asking the questions, whether it is going to Reddit, Quora, using a software like Phrase, which I it saves me so much time, but using softwares like that, you can then take that information and then use one of the softwares, whether it is Otter AI, if you're recording a video. I think video is really cool because you can literally have a conversation like this or just record this for your, whether you've got a YouTube channel, even if you don't have a YouTube channel, you could just record a video on your phone. Pick up your phone and just hold your phone in your hand. My phone is somewhere around here. Um, it's actually over here in my pocket. So I could literally just pick up my phone I could then just record a video that's a half an hour long or an hour long on my, on my phone, upload it to Pictree, upload it to Wave.video or PictoChart, one of those websites, and then it'll transcribe the video for me. I can then use that to create my ebook. Use softwares like Canva 
to be able to make the cover look nice because people are attracted to good looking things and then uh, once you've got the cover out there use your social media to get the word out about your book use uh, youtube create videos on on the topic to to spread the word or tell your friends or family about it uh, post on your social media platforms go back to sites like cora and reddit and 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 post about what you've done in order to to overcome this particular thing whether it's taking control of your finances or time management and so on and then link that back to either a website or to a a platform like Gumroad where you can actually show them what products you have available. My aim of this video is for you to write that book, to get it into the hands of people, for you to solve people's problems and to be in a position where you're going to be creating $500 per month for a year on out through the sale of this book and the other books that you're going to write. Thanks guys and I hope to see you guys on a future video real soon. God bless. Bye.